Well, it's happened to many of us. You're rushing to catch a flight and leave behind your pocket change at security. Yeah, now the TSA is putting that money to use. A new report suggests that your loose change could soon help fund border operations. Fox 5's Elizabeth Rollins is live at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport tonight. Elizabeth. Yeah, you know, as you go through security here, we all know we have to clear out our pockets, right? Including all the change in our pockets and officials say travelers are leaving this behind and it's adding up to thousands of dollars. It's the one thing that travelers are not required to keep up with at the airport, their spare change. According to TSA, it collects nearly $1 million a year nationwide from travelers who leave change at security checkpoints. I leave mine sometimes, most of the time, yeah. TSA officials say in the past, the money has been used for security and marketing programs. But if Congress doesn't agree on a $1.1 billion request to fund border wall security, reports say the agency may be counting on every last one of these pennies and dimes. Of course, there are travelers who are doing the same thing. Counting everything that I got, taking it with me. While border wall security may be controversial, for some, it may just be another reason to think about how they will empty their pockets. I might leave a little bit more. <laughs> I think we should use funds somewhere else. Yes, I will be counting my change. <laughs> Now, as you know, this is uh, the busiest airport. And in fact, Memorial Day weekend actually breaking a new record this year. But when it comes to how much money they're collecting in terms of change, you may be surprised with those numbers. I'm crunching those numbers and I'll have that all new at 11. Reporting live from Hartsville Jackson International Airport, I'm Elizabeth Rollins, Fox 5 News. All right, Elizabeth, we'll see you on the edge. Thanks. All right, Tom, well, if you've ever lost loose change while going through a security checkpoint at the airport, you might be surprised to hear our next story. A new report indicates those lost coins could help fund a border wall. News Edge reporter Elizabeth Rollins is live tonight at Hartsville Jackson International Airport with details. Elizabeth. Yeah, well, it may be the busiest airport. What when you compare it to other airports in terms of how much change they're collecting from travelers, well, travelers here at Hartsville Jackson are not as willing to leave their change behind. Memorial Day weekend set a new record at Hartsville Jackson International Airport with more than 421,000 travelers over the holiday weekend. And as they go through security, some may end up paying for security along the border with the change they leave behind. The TSA collected nearly a million dollars last year. 13,000 of that came from travelers in Atlanta. That is very shocking. Yes, I can imagine because people are trying to get to them planes at the last minute international. It's a uh, busy airport. According to Fox News, the Department of Homeland Security may need some of that money if Congress doesn't agree on a $1.1 billion request to fund border wall security. I think that's a little crazy. In the past, the money has been used for TSA security and marketing programs, and some believe it should stay that way. And now the possibility of funding the controversial project has some travelers thinking twice about how they will empty their pockets. I think we should use funds somewhere else. Yes, I will be counting my change. I mean, security is security, right? You need it. How do you fund it is always questionable. Are you going to think twice now about, you know, your change in your pockets? I might leave a little bit more. <laughs> Well, obviously, they're not in the top 10 being here at Hartsfield Jackson, but I want to tell you the number one airport that received uh, about $72,000 last year. That was JFK in New York, followed by LAX and then, of course, Miami. Now, we have requested uh, the contingency plan from uh, DHS to find out what will happen if they will implement this plan to uh, start using these funds uh, for the border wall. I'm still waiting to hear back. Of course, we'll uh, continue to follow this story and keep you updated. I'm Elizabeth Rollins reporting from Hartsville Jackson International Airport, Fox 5 News Edge at 11. Investigators say they violated testing procedures. Uh, Fox 5's Elizabeth Rollins joins us now live from Grace Snell Middle School in Loganville. Elizabeth. 
Yeah, like you said, six teachers, three administrators, including the school principal, all have either retired or resigned. They will not be coming back next year. Now, parents actually recently received a letter saying that 76 eighth graders had to retake the Georgia Milestone test on May 20th. That was just last week. This comes after Gwinnett County Board of Education and State Board of Education conducted their own investigation. They reviewed tests, testing materials. They also conducted a personnel investigation. And Here's what they found violations of testing procedures, potential violations of the Georgia Code of Ethics, which requires them to administer tests fairly and ethically. Now, they've actually recently named already an interim principal who will be helping with uh, this transition. Uh, that's Vivian Stranahan. And of course, she'll be helping with that transition as the board looks for a new school principal. But coming up all new at 11, we're hearing from parents. They're weighing in and we're going to give you more details about how uh, the school district plans uh, to make this a smooth transition as possible before the next school year. That's coming up all new at 11. We're live in Gwinnett County. Elizabeth Rollins, Fox 5 News. All right, Elizabeth, thank you. News Edge at 11 starts now. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Tom Haynes. And I'm Marissa Mitchell. First tonight on Fox 5 News Edge at 11, a school testing scandal in Gwinnett County. A number of educators are no longer employed. News Edge reporter Elizabeth Rollins joins us now live with details. And Elizabeth, you spoke with a parent about this troubling situation. I sure did. As you can imagine, parents pretty upset about the situation. Want to give you an update, though. Uh, we are they've already named an interim principal uh, right now. Vivian Stranahan, she's been named as the interim. She's a former Gwinnett County principal. Uh, she's also spent a lot of time uh, as a mentor leader in the district, so she'll be helping with that transition. She'll be working with school staff, supporting summer school efforts, as well as assisting with the transition as the school board looks to find a new permanent principal. Of course, this all comes after Gwinnett County Board of Ed and the State Board of Ed conducted an investigation. They reviewed tests and the testing materials. They also conducted a personnel investigation and found that six uh, teachers and three administrators violated testing standards. And new tonight, we are hearing from parents. Here's what they have to say. It was sad to see. We live here for the education here in Gwinnett. You know, that's one of the big reasons that we're in this area. 76 eighth graders actually had to retake the Georgia milestone test because of this investigation and, the, and what they found of that investigation. 76 eighth graders retesting just days before their last day of school last week. Now, uh, the school district says that they will be starting that search for a uh, new school principal very soon. And of course, we'll continue to follow the story and keep you updated. We're live in Gwinnett County. Elizabeth Rollins, Fox 5 News Hi. Edge at 11. Elizabeth, thanks. R&B singer R. Kelly is facing new charges. Prosecutors in Chicago are charging him with 11 new sex related counts. The 52 year old is already facing 10 counts of sexual assault charges in another case. Uh, Fox 5's Elizabeth Rollins joins us now from the live desk. And Elizabeth, you spoke to an attorney who represents several alleged victims in Atlanta and Chicago. I sure did, and he is weighing in tonight about those recent charges and says that they're just one step closer to getting closure for so many victims. Justice is coming. Atlanta attorney Gerald Griggs has been working with R. Kelly victims and investigators for more than two years. He was relieved when he heard the news that more charges were being filed against the R&B singer. They are serious allegations of uh, sexual conduct with a minor. Prosecutors in Chicago are charging him with 11 counts of sexual abuse against a victim between the ages of 13 and 16. Griggs doesn't represent this new alleged victim, but he does represent several accusers in Atlanta and Chicago who also claim they were abused by the R&B singer. But again, law enforcement is now listening. It's our hope that a jury of 12 will listen. Kelly was already facing 10 counts of aggravated sexual abuse charges in Chicago in another case. But now the charges have doubled. All you need is a conviction on one and you're looking at lengthy jail time. Coming up all new at 11, we'll explain why Griggs believes this is only just the beginning and how many more victims he believes are still out there. Russ, Marissa. Elizabeth, thanks. 
Tonight, an Atlanta attorney close to the R. Kelly case is speaking out about new charges against the singer. Kelly is now facing 11 new counts of sexual abuse against a minor. News Edge reporter Elizabeth Rollins joins us from the Fox 5 Live desk. And Elizabeth, you spoke with that attorney earlier, and he believes more is coming. Yeah, exactly. Kelly was already facing uh, 10 counts in another case. So these charges are adding up, and the attorney I spoke to believes there could be more. We've been investigating, gathering evidence, and providing it to law enforcement. Atlanta attorney Gerald Griggs has been working with victims in cases related to R. Kelly for more than two years. He was relieved to hear that 11 more charges were filed against the R&B singer in Chicago, accusing him of sexual abuse against a teen. Griggs doesn't represent that alleged victim, but he does represent accusers in Atlanta and Chicago who say they were also abused by Kelly. Several of my clients were responsible for getting together all of the survivors to you know, elevate their story and place it in the public's eye. And he believes that there will be additional charges that come forward both here in Atlanta as well as in Chicago. I believe that there will be additional charges that come forward uh, both here in Atlanta as well as in Chicago. He tells me he knows of ongoing investigations in Illinois, Georgia and New York. There's also ongoing federal investigations as well. As for the most recent charges, though, he's expected to be arraigned next week in Chicago.